Spencer Cornelia has lost his credibility because he is a channel that is supposed to be uncovering the truths, like it says in this description right here. The theme of the channel is to uncover truths that the world may struggle to notice. This involves deep dives into the scammy world of online marketing, analyzing personal finances of athletes, musicians, and telling stories that I find interesting. Well, apparently he did not find Andre Jick or <laughs> Graham Stephan's story interesting, or he completely forgot about that whole agency that he was under with all these other YouTubers. I guess he didn't find the scam that he was a part of interesting to uncover. But that's besides the point. Let's look at how many subscribers he's lost because of this. He has actually lost quite a bit. More than Meet Kevin. 6,000 subs. He is down 300 percent look at this like big dip right here that is crazy so he lost was losing like a thousand a day thousand two thousand in one day a couple days in a row he lost two thousand that is just insane now this dip in views is just uh something that the youtube algorithm does to purge uh fake views or whatnot when people run the system so it like washes it out so if you ever see that dip that's what it is this is off a of social blade by the way it's where i'm getting my information he's losing on a daily basis about 200 subs a day ouch and then weekly average he's losing 1.4 thousand subscribers and on the last 30 days 6,000 subs now for his channel that could be pretty harmful because he's only at a half million it's not like where like Graham Stephan's already passed like the what 3 million mark now or something like that and here's the crazy thing you have his views you know dipping tremendously this is kind of crazy only half a million views for a day since he was pulling in about you know 5 million on some day 7 million on other right here is where his subscriber count actually dipped to the negatives so this is like the projection of his subs and he's projecting towards a negative right now so negative 3,000 subs for the month of November and it looks like October will be even further down now <laughs> There were some things that I noticed about Spencer Cornelia that I thought was funny. <laughs> when I went to his channel, you see Kevin David's newest scam. It's massive, right? And I look at Kevin David, I'm like, is that Spencer's uh, brother? <laughs> They kind of look alike. They look pretty similar. And I was kind of just running this crazy thought in my head when I was reading his, what the channel was about when we were talking about him uncovering the truth. I'm like, wouldn't it be a plot plot twist if he did come on his channel and then just like expose all the YouTubers, including himself, and try to like do some double agent thing to try to get people to forgive him. I was wondering if you might do that. Uh, he hasn't yet, but that'd be hilarious. I think that'd probably be the only way he could recover, maybe, if people believe him. But when you watch his videos, it's really hard to believe him. He's one person that just struck me as weird. He had this, like, really smug grin about him. And that's just me. Uh, like, that's how I felt when I watched the videos. You might have felt differently. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. See you in the next one.